now we study about the derivative of inverse function first we know about inverse function what is the inverse function function of inverse or inverse function means if we know that 10 is a number and then its inverse can be written as 10 raised to the power minus 1 10 raised to the power minus 1 means inverse of 10 if 10 is a number and 10 raised to the power minus 1 is inverse of 10 then 10 raised to the power minus 1 is also written as 1 upon 10 means here number real function and inverse function 10 is a reciprocal of each other again we can say that for example if sin theta is equals to x then theta is a inverse of sin inverse of x hence we can write about the inverse of for inverse function derivative of inverse function is if we know that y is equals to f of x be a 1 1 and on a 2 then f inverse y is equals to x is differentiable then we can find then we can find its derivative how the how any function is reciprocal to each other for example we can say that if y is equals to 2x minus minus 2 is a function we can write it f of x is equals to 2x minus 2 after that we can write this function y plus 2 is equals to 2x therefore 2x is equals to y plus 2 hence x is equals to y plus 2 upon 2 which is inverse of the given function g of x is equals to y plus 2 upon 2 sorry g of y is equals to y plus 2 upon 2 if we take the derivative of f of x therefore derivative of f of x is equals to we can find derivative of function is 2x minus 2 after that we can take a separate derivative of 2x and minus 2 the derivative of 2x 2 is constant function and derivative of x is 1 minus the derivative of 2 is 0 2 into 1 is equals to 2 hence g of y if we find the derivative of g of y with respect to y is equals to derivative of y plus 2 upon 2 here 1 by 2 is a constant function and we take the derivative of y plus 2 is equals to 1 by 2 into derivative of y is 1 and 2 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 1 into 1 by 2 into 1 is 1 by 2 which is dy derivative of y g of y hence 2 is a reciprocal of each other 
here we have to find the derivative of some inverse function in question number first the given question is find the derivative of the functions y is equals to f of x using the derivative of the inverse function x is equals to f inverse y it means that example number first y is equals to cube root of x plus 4 is a given function and if we find the derivative of this function y is equals to cube root of x plus 4 after differentiate with respect to x we get the derivative of y is dy by dx and we take this derivative of cube root of x plus 4 it can write x plus 4 whole raised to the power 1 by 3 by using the derivative of f of x raised to the power n we can write it 1 by 3 into x plus 4 whole raised to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 into again the derivative of x plus 4 1 by 3 as it is 1 minus 3 we can write it minus 2 by 3 is equals to 1 upon 3 into x plus 4 whole raised to the power 2 by 3 or we can write it 1 upon 3 into cube root of x plus 4 whole the bracket square which is the required derivative of given function y is equals to cube root of x plus 4. It is a required derivative but we have to find this derivative by using the derivative of inverse function. Hence we can find, hence we want to find first inverse of this function and after that we take differentiate inverse function and, uh, and we find the derivative of given function. The given function y is equals to cube root of x plus 4. We know that if y is equals to f of x be a given function then its inverse function if we take f right side then it can write f raised to the power minus 1 into y as it is equals to x means if y is equals to f of x be a given function then x is equals to f inverse of y is in the form of inverse hence we can write this function y is equals to cube root of x plus 4 first we take cube both sides y cube into x plus 4 this 4 is positive on the right side if we take left side it can be written as y cube minus 4 is equals to x therefore the given function x is equals to y cube minus 4 is a inverse function of y is equals to cube root of x plus 4 if we differentiate the given function with respect to x then we can write derivative of x with respect to y then we can write the derivative of x with respect to y is dx upon dy is equals to derivative with respect to y y cube minus 4 the derivative of y cube is 3y square minus the derivative of 4 is 0 hence dx upon dy is equals to 3y square but we know that y is equals to cube root of x plus 4 and we have to find the derivative of y is equals to f of x says we have to find the derivative of y with respect to x means we have to find dy by dx now we have now we find dx upon dy by using the inverse of function inverse function if we have to find the derivative of y with respect to x that is dy by dx then we have dy upon dx is equals to 1 upon dx upon dy from equation 1 dx upon the value of dx upon dy is 3y square the value of y is cube root of x plus 4 hence we can write it 1 upon 3 into 
क्यूब रूट ऑफ वाई स्क्वेर मीन्स एक्स प्लस फोर होल ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर विच इज रिक्वायर्ड डेरिवेटिव डी वाई बाय डी एक्स बाय यूजिंग द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ इनवर्स फंक्शन सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट ऑफ वन प्लस रूट एक्स If we have find the derivative of y with respect to x by using the derivative of inverse function, then first we have to find inverse of the given function y in terms. of x in terms of x x in terms of y hence we can write this function also in under root of 1 plus root x is equals to y if we take Here, both side, then one plus under root x is equals to y square plus one. Take right side, it become minus one. Again, we take a square both side. The square swaps the square of under root x is x is equals to y square minus one. Whole the bracket square is a required inverse function of x in term of in terms of y. Now we differentiate this inverse function with respect to y. Then we get dx upon dy is equals to derivative of y square minus one whole bracket square. By using the derivative of x to the power n, we can write it dx upon dy is equals to two into y square minus one into again a derivative of y. Hence, we can write it two into y square minus one and the derivative of y square is two y. Two into two four four y into y square minus one. But we have to find the derivative of y in terms of x, and we have dy upon dx is equals to one upon dx upon dy. The value of dx upon dy is equals to one upon four y into y square minus one. If we substitute the value of y, which is under root of one plus root x, then we can write it dy upon dx is equals to one upon four into under root of one plus root x into under root of one plus root x whole bracket square. It means that square and square root is cancel minus one. Is equals to one of one four under root of one plus root x into one plus root x minus one plus one minus one zero. Hence we can write one of one four into under root x under root of one plus root x, which is the required derivative of the given inverse function dy upon dx. After that. Next function y is equals to log of x. We know that if y is equals to log of x, then we can write x is equals to e raised to the power y. Hence, directly we have to find first inverse of. The given function that is 
x is equals to e raised to the power y. If we differentiate the given function with respect to x, then sorry, u with respect to y, then dx upon dy is equals to e raised derivative of e raised to the power y. And the derivative of e raised to the power y is e raised to the power y. We have dy upon dx is equals to 1 upon dx upon dy. Also, we know that the value of dx upon dy is e raised to the power y. Hence, we can write 1 upon e to the power y. We know that the value of y is equals to log of x. If we put the value of log of x, then y is equals to dy upon dx is equals to 1 upon e raised to the power log x. Sorry, the value of x e to the power y is x. Hence, we can write direct it dy upon dx is equals to 1 by x which is the required derivative of y dy upon dx. In next question, question number 2, we have to find the derivative of inverse of function y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x. And again we have to calculate its value at x is equals to minus 2. Here we have to find the derivative of inverse function of y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x means we have to find the derivative of function x in terms of y. First we have to calculate, we have to convert this function in terms of inverse function. But here function is 2x cube minus 6x. Hence we take first given function y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x. If the value of x is minus 2 and x is equals to minus 2 is, we can calculate the value of y. y is equals to 2 into minus 2 cube minus 6x. y is equals to 2 into minus 2 cube is minus 8 minus 6 into minus 2. 2 into minus 8 is minus 16. Minus minus plus 6 into minus 2 is 12. Means is equals to minus 4. Hence the value of y is minus 4. By the given condition we have to find dx upon dy. If we have to find the derivative of y with respect to x is dy upon dx at x is equals to minus 2 then its inverse is x is equals to in terms of y. Hence we have to find dx upon dy at x is equals to minus 4. We know that dy upon dx is equals to 1 upon dx upon dy. The value of dx upon dy is 1 upon the value of dx upon dy 1 upon dy upon dx we know that the given function y is 1 upon derivative of y is 2x cube minus 6x which is 1 upon 2 into derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 6 into derivative of x is 1 Hence, we can write 1 upon 3 to 2, 6x square minus 6. Hence, we have to find derivative dx upon dy at x is equals to minus 4 is equals to 1 upon 6 into minus 4 square minus 6. 1 upon 6 into square of minus 4 is 16 minus 6 which is 1 upon 1, we take 6 common 16 minus 1, 
is equals to 1 upon 6 into 15. Hence, the required value of 15 into 6 is 90. Question which is derivative of inverse function is question number two find the derivative of inverse of functions y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x and calculates its value at x is equals to minus 2 it is here it is clear that we have to find the derivative of this function but by using inverse of functions the given function is y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x means given function is a y in terms of x but here we have to find the derivative of inverse of this function means we have to find the derivative of x in terms of y at its value y is equals to is equals to what? If we find the derivative of x with respect to y, it means that it is a inverse function of y is equals to f of x is equals to x is equals to f inverse y. If we have to find dx upon dy at y is equals to what? Is equals to what? First, we calculate the value of y is y is equals to given that y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x if we put value of x is minus 2 then we get the value of y is y is equals to 2 into minus 2 whole bracket cube minus 6 into minus 2 2 into minus 2 cube is minus 8 minus minus plus 6 into 2 is 12 8 into minus 8 into 2 is minus 16 plus 12 hence y is equals to minus 4 therefore it is clear that we have to find dx upon dy at y is equals to minus 4 is equals to what we know that dx upon dy is equals to 1 upon dy upon dx. Hence we can say it dx upon dy at y is equals to minus 4 is equals to 1 upon dy upon dx at x is equals to minus 2. Equation number first. We have to find dy by dx after substituting at x is equals to minus 2 we get the value of derivative of inverse function of y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x at y is equals to minus 4 is dx upon dy at y is equals to minus 4 is given that again y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x if we differentiate given function with respect to x, we get dy upon dx. 2 is constant function and derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 6 into derivative of x is 1. 2 into 3 is 6. If we take 6 common board terms, 6x square minus 6, we get 6 into x minus 1. Put this value of dy by dx in equation 1, equation 1 become we get a required answer dx upon dy at y is equals to minus 4 is equals to 1 upon dy by dx is 6 into x minus 2 at x is equals to minus 2. If we put or if we replace the value of x is minus 2 then we get 1 upon 6 into minus 2 square minus 1. The value of minus 2 square is 4 is equals to 1 upon 6 into 4 minus 1 is 3. 
is equals to 1 upon 6 into 3 is equals to 1 upon 18 which is a required value of the derivative of inverse of function y is equals to 2x cube minus 6x and its calculated value y is equals to minus 4 is 1 upon 18. After that, next one is question number 3. Let f and g be the inverse function of each other. f and g be a two functions and that two functions is inverse of each other. The following table list of few values of f and g and f dash are as follows. The value of x is minus 4. Then f of x is 2, g of x is 1 and f dash of x is 1 by 3. If the value of x is minus 1, then f of x is minus 4 and g of x is minus 2, then the value of f dash of x is again 4. By using these criteria, we have to find the value of g dash of minus 4. If we have to find the value of g dash of minus 4, then we first calculate g dash of x. After that, the value of x, we put minus 4, we get the required value which is. Now, in order to find g dash of minus 4, we should first find an expression for g dash of x. For any input x, since f and g are inverse, we can use the following identity which holds for any two differentiable inverse function, which is g dash of x is equals to 1 upon f dash of g of x because f and g be the inverse function of each other. Now we have to find the value of g dash of minus 4. At the value of for x is equals to minus 4, we can find this value g dash of minus 4 is equals to 1 upon f dash of g of and the value of x is minus 4. We know that the value of g of minus 4 from the table of g of x, if the value of x is minus 4, then g of minus 4 is 1. Hence we can write here 1 upon f dash of 1. From our table, we can also find the value of f dash of 1. f dash of x, if the x is minus 1, then we can find the value of f dash of minus 1 is 4. Hence we can write f dash of minus 1 is 4. So here the value of x was minus 4 and 1. It is a correction of we replace minus 1 by 1. Current value of x is minus 4 and second value is 1. Hence we can write the value of f dash of 1 is 4. The required value of g dash of minus 4 is 1 upon 4. After that Next example, question number 4 is late. f of x is equal to x to the power 5 plus 2x minus 3. From the above condition, we have to find the value of f inverse of dash of minus 3. It means that we have to find the value of derivative of f inverse at minus 3. If we, find, if we have to find the derivative of f inverse of dash minus 3 then we first find the derivative of f of x given that f of x is equal to x raised to the power 5 plus 2x minus 3 if we differentiate given function with respect to x then we get the derivative of f x is f dash of x is equals to the derivative of x raised to the power 5 plus 2x minus 3. The derivative of x raised to the power 5 is 5 into x raised to the power 4 plus 2 is constant function and the value of x is 1 minus again 
whole constant function derivative of minus 3 is 0. After that we can write f dash of x is equals to 5x raised to the power 4 plus 2 into 1 is 2. Then we can write not only y is equals to minus 3 corresponding correspondence to x is equals to 0 not only y is equals to minus 3 corresponds to x is equals to minus x is equals to sorry minus 2 not x is equals to 0 we can write f inverse of dash minus 3 f inverse of dash minus 3 is equals to 1 upon f dash of 0 1 upon f dash of 0 hence we can write 1 upon 5 into 0 plus 2 5 into 0 is 0 1 upon 0 plus 2 is equals to 1 by 2 which is required value of f inverse of dash minus 3 is equals to 1 upon 2 Now we start the most important topic of the derivative of inverse function which is derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. You know about trigonometric functions. There are six trigonometric functions. Most one of these sine. Second one is cos. After tan, quad, sec, and cosec. If we take these trigonometric functions in form of x, we can write function of x, f of x, which is sin x. Second trigonometric function, cos x. Third is tan x. Fourth is cot x. Fifth is sec x. And sixth is cosec x which has the required trigonometric functions. If we know about the inverse trigonometric function, then the inverse of sin x, we can write sin inverse x. The inverse of cos x is cos inverse x. The inverse of tan x is tan inverse x. Inverse of cot x is cot inverse x. Inverse of sec is sec inverse x. And the inverse of cosec is cosec inverse x. Which is sin x, cos x, tan x, cot x, sec x, cosec x is a trigonometric function. And sin inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, cot inverse, sec inverse, cosec inverse is inverse trigonometric functions. Now we study about inverse trigonometric functions. First we know derivative of standard inverse trigonometric function derivative of standard inverse trigonometric function trigonometric function you know very well about trigonometric function because we learn in standard 11 the first thing on, we know the derivative of sin x is cos x. Similarly, we can write the derivative of sin inverse x. You know the derivative of cos x. Similarly, we can write the derivative of cos inverse x. Derivative of tan x. We know derivative of tan inverse x. Derivative of cot inverse x. Derivative of sec inverse x. Derivative of cosec inverse x. Here we write the derivative of every inverse trigonometric functions without proof because we learn already in class 11 the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. The first inverse trigonometric function is derivative of sin inverse x is equals to 1 upon under root of ax square minus 1. Similarly, we can write derivative of cos inverse x which is only minus 1 upon under root of ax square minus 1. Secondly, the pair of 
tan and cot if we write the derivative of tan inverse x is equals to 1 upon 1 plus x square then the derivative of cot inverse x is negative terms minus 1 upon 1 plus x square after that next remaining two trigonometric functions sec and cosec we know that the derivative of sec inverse x is equals to 1 upon x under root of x square minus 1 and the derivative of cosec inverse x is equals to minus 1 upon x under root of x square minus 1 sorry here one correction derivative of sin inverse x is 1 minus x square and the derivative of cos inverse x is 1 minus x square write down this derivative of inverse trigonometric functions and you take a screenshot of derivative of inverse trigonometric functions now we study about the special case is inverse trigonometric functions you know whole inverse trigonometric functions that is first inverse trigonometric function is sin inverse x if second trigonometric function is cos inverse x third one is tan inverse x fourth one is cot inverse x fifth one is sec inverse x and last one is cosec inverse x this is very important trigonometric functions in derivative of inverse trigonometric function we learn useful formulas which use to differentiate the inverse trigonometric functions if we know about the inverse trigonometric function then we can write the first formula of inverse trigonometric function is we know sin inverse of sin x is equals to x because sin inverse means 1 upon sin and this sin x as it is 1 upon sin into sin x here sin sin cancel remaining part of sin of sin inverse of sin x is x hence we can write sin inverse of sin x is equals to x similarly we can write second cos inverse of cos x is equals to x third one tan inverse of tan x is equals to again x similarly we can write cot inverse of cot x is equals to x again we can write the fifth function sec inverse of sec x is equals to x after that last function cosec inverse of cosec x is equals to x which is a first six inverse trigonometric functions we can apply this rule and find the derivative of any functions easily now we show the sum rules of inverse trigonometric function which is based on quadrant rule we know that first quadrant rule sin of pi by 2 minus x is equals to cos x and cos of pi by 2 minus x is equals to sin x next one we can say the pair of tan of pi by 2 minus x is cot x and cot of pi by 2 minus x is equals to tan x similarly again we can say sec of pi by 2 minus x is equals to cosec x and cosec of pi by 2 minus x is equals to sec x by using this quadrant rule we can find the rules of derivative of so rules of inverse trigonometric function which is first one if we know the value real value of sin inverse of cos x then we first convert this cos into sin 
हेज वी कैन राइट साइन इनवर्स ऑफ कॉस ऑफ एक्स वी कैन राइट साइन ऑफ पाई बाय टू माइनस एक्स हियर साइन इनवर्स साइन इज कैंसल हेज साइन इनवर्स ऑफ कॉस एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू पाई बाय टू माइनस एक्स नेक्स्ट वन सिमिलरली वी कैन राइट क्वास इनवर्स ऑफ साइन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वी कैन राइट दिस फंक्शन क्वास इनवर्स ऑफ क्वास ऑफ पाई बाय टू माइनस एक्स विच इज क्वास इनवर्स एंड क्वास कैंसल हेज क्वास इनवर्स ऑफ साइन एक्स इज पाई बाय टू माइनस एक्स सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड द थर्ड रूल्स tan inverse of cot x we can write this cot x in form of tan tan inverse of tan of pi by 2 minus x tan inverse tan cancel is the value of tan inverse of cot x is pi by 2 minus x again cot inverse of tan x we can write this tan in form of cot is cot inverse of cot of pi by 2 minus x here cot inverse cot cancel means we can write the value of cot inverse of tan x is pi by 2 minus x after that sec inverse of cosec x we can write this function cosec x in form of sec x is sec inverse of sec of pi by 2 minus x after sec inverse and sec cancel we can write the value of sec inverse of cosec x is pi by 2 minus x and last one cosec inverse of sec x is equals to we can write this sec in form of cosec cosec inverse of cosec of pi by 2 minus x after we cancel cosec inverse and cosec we can write the value of cosec inverse of sec x is pi by 2 minus x which is a important rules of inverse trigonometric functions which based on quadrant rules in the trigonometric function you know about the relation of sin and cosec tan and cot sec and cosec the relation of sin and cosec is sin x is equals to 1 upon cosec x or we can write cosec x is equals to 1 upon sin x means sin and cosec are reciprocals of each other similarly we can write in trigonometric function cos x is equals to 1 upon sec x or sec x is equals to 1 upon cos x here again similarly we can write tan x is equals to 1 upon cot x and cot x is equals to 1 upon tan x similarly we can create a rules of inverse trigonometric functions the first rules of inverse trigonometric function sin inverse of x is equals to cosec inverse of 1 by x or cosec inverse of x is equals to sin inverse of 1 by x after that we can write cos inverse of x is equals to sec inverse of 1 by x <coughs> or sec inverse of 1 x is equals to cos inverse of 1 by x similarly we can write tan inverse of x is equals to cot inverse of 1 by x and cot inverse of x is equals to tan inverse of 1 by x now we have to show the some important rules which based on angle the first rule we can apply in derivative sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equals to pi by 2 second one tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equals to again pi by 2 and third one sec inverse x plus 
कोसेक इनवर्स एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू अगेन पाई बाय टू आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द टेन इनवर्स एक्स प्लस टेन इनवर्स वाई इज इक्वल्स टू वी कैन राइट इट टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स वाई एंड लास्ट वन टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस टेन इनवर्स वाई इज इक्वल्स टू टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स वाई देर आर सम इम्पॉर्टंट सब्स्टिट्यूशन आर गिवन इफ द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फंक्शन इज इन फॉर्म आई एस फॉलोज देन वी कैन सब्स्टिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स गिवन By using this substitution, we can solve easily the any function differentiate with respect to x. If the given function under root of one minus x square, if we substitute sine theta or cos theta, we know that very well one minus sine square theta or one minus cos square theta. One minus sine square theta is cos square theta. One minus cos square theta is sine square theta. If We take the value of one minus sine square theta is cos square theta. Then under root of cos square theta is cos theta, and we calculate the simple form of derivative, which is derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta. Similarly, we can one minus tan square theta, one minus cos cot square theta. By using this substitution, we can solve. Or we can find the derivative of Any in over trigonometric functions. First substitution is under root of one minus x square. Then we can substitute the value of x is sine theta or cos theta. The given expression in form of again in one under root of one minus x square. Then we can substitute x tan theta or cot theta. If the given expression in form of x square plus one, then we can substitute. The value of x is sec theta or cosec theta. If the given expression under root of a plus x upon a minus x or a minus x upon a plus x, then you can substitute the value of x cos two theta or a cos theta. Again, the expression one plus x square upon one minus x square is under root or under root of a minus x square upon a plus x square. Then you can substitute the value of x square is a cos two theta or x square is a cos theta. Again, two x upon one plus x square or one minus x square upon one plus x square. Then you can substitute the value of x is tan theta. Three x minus four x cube or one minus two x square is x is equal to sine theta or x is equal to cos theta, which is four x cube minus three x or two x square minus one. If the given expression are three x minus x cube upon one minus three x square, we can substitute the value of x is equal to tan theta and two f x. Upon one plus f of x whole bracket square or one minus f of x whole bracket square upon one plus f of x whole bracket square we can substitute the value of f x is tan theta write down.